I tried doing vert halts to aim routine every day for an entire week. The routine takes about 40 minutes to complete. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would I spend 40 minutes a day on an aim training routine? Seems excessive, especially since this was all done on controller. Well, I think of myself as a decent player. I feel like my skill level has started to plateau and I really need to change something up or add a new challenge if I want to improve further. And look at Verhals. He has some of the best controller aim on all of Apex Legends. And he is known for being one of the pro players who aim trains on a consistent basis. So after seven days, I know I'll be nowhere near his level of aim, but hopefully I can get a bit closer. The aim training consists of 10 minutes of close to mid-range tracking and target switching. For this, he grabs an R99 and a car with the only attachments being the gold magazines. Then he tracks these little targets in the corners while strafing. Then he switches between the targets, shooting one to two bullets into each of the corners of these targets. And he tries to do this as fast as as possible while still maintaining good accuracy. Then he will go up to one of these ledges and switch between the close target. Again, keeping up the speed without sacrificing accuracy. Then it's followed by 10 minutes of close range tracking against shooting targets. So he has the same loadout. He sets the dummy settings to mythic, strafe random, stand, random speed, and then he sets the shooting to hard. I notice he also sometimes switches to Bangalore for this, and I assume it's because of her double time passive which makes it really good aim training as it makes your strafe speed even faster. And if you track at high speeds, the slower speed tracking would probably be even easier. Then he just runs around the firing range and tries to consistently one clip the dummies while using movement and cover. Then it's 10 minutes of long range precision shot. He still has the same exact loadout, the R99 and the car with extend mags, but no sights. He goes back up to this ledge over here, or he goes all the way to the back of the range. And he switches between these targets way off in the distance. This is supposed to help with your fine aim and making small movements of your right thumbstick accurately. Verhulst often recommends this aim drill in his live stream, so I focused on this a lot. Then 10 minutes of recoil control. He usually uses a flatline or the nemesis for this. And this is just because they are the meta assault rifles right now. If the Havoc, the R3, one or maybe the hemlock is meta then i would recommend using those guns but right now the flatline and the nemesis are the best assault rifles so that's what you should be using and he takes the optics he would use most often in game so for me that is going to be the 3x ranger for both weapons so that is what i'm going to spend the majority of the time training with this week and he simply shoots the targets and the dummies while focusing on controlling recoil the best he can of course he likes to switch it up on a day-to-day -day basis and he isn't always doing the exact same thing but this should be a good starting point using the aim training drills he uses often. So day one, aiming up close with the SMGs came easily to me and felt natural. It wasn't too hard to one clip the dummies almost every time as long as they were somewhat close to me. When I got to further ranges it was a bit harder but wasn't too bad. But as soon as I went over to the long range target section of this routine, I could tell I needed this training. I kept overshooting my targets and the control I had from range was just not there. And then I switched over to recoil control and I was trying to shoot the targets all the way in the back and it was a disaster. I I quickly adjusted this part of the routine and aimed for the target in the center as it was a bit closer and decided that I would switch back to the further targets once my recoil control improved. I only played a couple of matches on day one as I had a busy day, but they felt great. I don't believe the aim training really improved my mechanics per se in only 45 minutes, but spending that time got me really warmed up and my mechanics were on point. My recoil control with the flatline already felt so much better than what it was before and I was getting some one clips I was not expecting. Needless to say, I was getting excited to see how far I could go in only one week. Day two, I had to keep up the momentum. The training was a ton of fun this day, and honestly, I ended up sitting in the range for nearly two hours. You're probably thinking, how can you spend two hours simply shooting targets? Doesn't that get boring? All I did was listen to music and watch some YouTube videos while training, and it made the time pass quickly. I loved it. It was nice being able to turn my brain off and only need to focus on aiming. Something unexpected that I noticed once I started playing actual matches was that I was a lot more patient. I still played aggressively and took fights constantly, but I wasn't putting myself into bad situations quite as often. Day three, right away, my right thumb felt a bit off. Now, this was a bit of a scare because I'm not used to have really having pain in my wrist or my hands or anything. It's just something I'm not used to. So I decided it was a good idea to do some hand stretches for the first time in my life before finishing the routine. It wasn't anything bad or painful, but I'm not trying to speed run carpal tunnel anytime soon. I did the bare minimum of the routine and then I immediately started playing ranked. And I was doing some truly unholy activities in ranked lobbies. I could definitely feel my aim getting better and better and it's only day three hopefully this continues throughout the week
Day 4. I decided to set up my PC and played on there for a day. It felt nice having the higher refresh rate when aim training and I quickly felt how much easier it is to track movement and control recoil. However, my graphics seemed a bit off just because all my settings were set on low so the game felt a little different than what I'm used to. So day 4 was mostly just adjusting settings in between aim training drills. Then I had to play orientation matches so I'm not sure how well I would have played if I was against real players. But to be honest, it felt good playing these matches as I didn't have to stress too much and I could practice is my aim I have been working on. I mean, look at these poor AI. I know most of these aren't real players, but I still just feel bad killing them. Day five, we went back to the grind. I spent a little over an hour in the frying range and really put focus onto the long range precision section of this routine. Then I played a lot of the mixtape game modes on day five, and it was kind of refreshing doing something a little different than what I'm used to. And it also gave me some practice with weapons I rarely pick up, like the Kraber or the Havoc. And it was a pleasant surprise to see that the weapons that I haven't trained with at all during this experiment felt good. And I think my aim with them has improved despite never picking them up. Day 6. I decided to change up the routine a little. I found that ending the routine on long range recoil control sort of showed my weaknesses in game and might have been affecting how I played against actual players. It's still the same training tasks but in a different order. What I did was save the close range tracking against the shooting targets until the very end of the routine. This is definitely the task that I am best at so I think it built a lot of confidence in my aim. And once I finished training I decided to play some no fill duos and and the confidence carried over and I was playing really well. I could hold my ground a lot easier. Then I could also push enemies without cover and trust that my aim will be enough to win the matchup. Day 6 was feeling really good. My mechanics felt on point. But how about day 7? The final day of this experiment. I did the routine in the same order as I did on day 6. Then I noticed that my recoil control on the flatline has gotten so much better over the week. And I've been loving it in game. Then I decided I would hop into some more duo ranked matches. I had a ton of fun destroying some players and playing in masters and pred lobbies as if I was still playing pub. I would 1000% recommend trying out an aim training routine similar to this, even if it's only for a few days. But unfortunately, no amount of aim training is going to help you if you don't know the fundamentals of what makes for aimbot-like mechanics in Apex Legends, which is why you need to watch this video of 12 aiming tips and tricks to go pro in Apex Legends.